Hey, Chaz, how are you? Good, how are you? I'm good. I'm Mary Beth McAndrews. I'm from Dread Central. Nice I'm to meet you. Nice to meet you, too. I'm so excited to chat with you. And you're are you in Salem? Or are you going to Salem Horror Fest for this film? I'm in actually? Salem. Yeah, I'm in Salem right now. How is it? I'm so jealous. It looks like, so. were you there last night at the Tony Todd event? I wasn't at that event, no. Okay, cool. Um, yeah. But we are here to talk about Mary the Bride. <laughs> yeah, I mean, Salem is so cool. I mean, I've never been here before, so... I've it's never amazing. been either. It looks so very much my vibes, spooky and cute and witchy and it, <laughs> it is it is totally all of those things. It is spooky, it is adore, it's charming and quaint. Um and there is lots of fun witchy stuff here. <laughs> so cool. Well, perfect place for people to see Barry the Bride, this new film yes. that we're in, Spider One's new film. And my first question, very basic, but then how did you get involved in this project playing a character called Puppy, which I just feel like is incredible? <laughs> Thank you. Um, so I, Chrissy Fox and I have the same manager. He okay. got, he introduced us, he made, you know, and we just hit it off. And so, and I had been looking to, you know, get into producing too for a while now. Oh, cool. I've been, yeah, so I've been, I've been looking for a project and I started talking to Chrissy about, you know, a, about their projects and, and, um, and about producing horror and, and you know, just some different things and got to a place where I felt really comfortable. And then they finished the script for Barry the Bride and, sent it to me and um I think I, I probably signed on really before I even knew what character I was playing so then I found out I was filming puppy and I wasn't going to be speaking at all so wait so what was that experience like playing a character that you have to do so many horrified facial expressions and reactions what was that acting experience like for you yeah, I, it was different, you know, it was definitely different. Um, and, but, you know, I, I needed to convey this, this story um, with my facial expressions and my body language and everything so that when I puppy finally tells his story, it makes sense, but you can be like, okay, yeah. that's what's slightly off or that's why, whatever. So that, that was really, you know, my challenge and, and the thing that I was really, you know, working towards. I knew once we finally shot that scene, it would probably be, you know, pretty good. And, and Chrissy and Scout gave me a lot to, to work, work with in that. Um, but yeah, I was, I, mean, I was really, you know, I was, I was I'm, I'm pleased with how the performance comes across. I think that it's a, it's a very strange character to play, but also very satisfying. Yeah. Well, and so what was the, what, you're an executive producer on this project, and this is, yeah. again, one of your first forays into producing. What was that experience then like for you to both act and be a producer on the film? Yeah. Um, it really, uh, you know, it really upped the stakes for me, I think. Okay. You know, you, usually as, a, as an actor, especially on independent films, um you go you do your work and then you you have to kind of put it out of your mind a little bit at least I do yeah uh because you know at, at that point I don't have any more control and and I have to wait and see you know what the you know who the producer sell it to and when it's going to come out and all of that stuff which is completely out of my control um yeah. working on this it was just a completely different experience and that you know I knew what was what was happening you know I started with them in pre-production I helped with the um, casting process and um, and then you know we went and, and made the film and so I was and then afterwards you know unlike you know, I have a film coming out later this year that I haven't even seen yet so but with this you know I was in you know, the Chrissy did all the, the post. Um, I, you know, I was seeing cut, you know, cuts of certain scenes together and and then yeah. the film when it was for, you know, so I really felt a part of the process in a 
in a much deeper way than um, than I usually do. And that was really fun. That's amazing. And it sounds like the collaboration with both Chrissy and Spider One was a pretty great one, right? Like, can you talk, can you speak more to that experience collaborating with them both, you know, in, in pre-current production well, and post-production? So, I mean, you know, they've now made four films together as producers. Yeah. Christy, Christy uh, wrote and directed two, and now uh, they've got, you know, Spider directing Allegory and, and Burning the Bride. So, um, you know, they work together. They're such a great collaborative team that, uh, and they do so much. They're so hands-on in so many different ways that um, really it was about, you know, I felt like I was learning from them at this point, you know, Ooh. still like really, I mean, yes, I brought in money, but um, as far as, as what, um, you know, they were doing every day on set and, you know, it's just so much. They just yeah. do everything. So they're a great collaborative team. And honestly, I'm just feeling very grateful and, and, and honored to be, you know, tagging along at this point. Yeah, that's amazing. And so you've been in, a, you know, an American Horror Story, a couple episodes, just a couple yeah. of American Horror Story. And what and then this like what is your personal relationship to the horror genre are you a horror person or do you just like oh, yeah, doing horror totally. projects oh cool no okay. no no i'm a horror person i mean yeah i've for the most part i've done mostly horror in, in yeah. my career you know two seasons of american horror story um i did a movie with barbara crampton that i guess nobody's seen but it's called oh, that's Reborn. right that's right yeah. yes um, and then I've got this other film called um, The Bellkeeper coming out later this year. Oh, cool. And, and that's a horror film. And uh, so, yeah, I mean, I, I love horror and I feel like I'm finding a, a home there. Uh, so that's a really good feeling. That is, so do you remember the first horror movie you ever saw? Hmm. It's going to be either Jaws or The Exorcist. And I just can't remember which one I saw first. Okay. Jaws is mine. But I saw I it probably... at the age of four, unfortunately. <laughs> you, which one? Jaws at, at the age of Jaws. four. <laughs> yeah. I can remember seeing Jaws and literally after that, I was like afraid to swim in the swimming pools. Yeah, even. I was, was the exact same way. I thought bathtubs, yeah. toilets. I yeah. thought there was a shark right. coming out of any piece of water, like any water. <laughs> totally. Um, so yeah, I don't, my godfather took me to see Jaws. I remember that. And then I talked my grandmother and her boyfriend into playing the exorcist for me at their house. And, no. and honestly, I look, it's one of my happiest memories when I look back, like, you know, at this, my grandma, I, we just lost my grandma. And I'm so sorry. I took, thank you. And, um, but yeah, I had that, you know, it, that memory just popped into my head and I was talking to her boyfriend at the time and it's like, yeah, yeah. I was like, I do all this work in horror now and I feel like you guys you know, got me started with, you know, showing me that movie, so. I love, yeah. it's like, you were terrified at the time, but it is such like a beautiful memory to have. And, and again, like you said, like memory. you got yeah. me set down this path and like, look what you're doing now. Like that is so cool to have that, that memory. Yeah. Horror is cool. Horror brings people together. And I, you're going to see it Salem, like. Absolutely. Horror, it's amazing. I mean, I, I love, I love horror fans. I like going, I've gone to Monster Palooza and Son of Monster. I mean, I love those type of conventions. It's just, it's fun. It's the horror fans are nice people. We try. We try our best. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So are you familiar with the Boulet Brothers Dragula? I am. So you have been on RuPaul's Drag Race. Would you ever 
guest judge on Dracula. I would love to oh. personally see you on Dracula. In, in a second, in fact. So I came to the Dracula party late. Okay. And, okay. And I got into them within this last year. I cool. got, um, so Bonnie Aarons is a friend and she's been judged, um, I think like three or four times. And yeah. so she invited a bunch of us to see the premiere of the new season. Oh, and, and I was like, wow, this is a really cool show. And so I went back to the big, I've watched them all. I've probably watched most seasons twice now. So yes, I love the show. And I actually, I, I talked to my manager and I was like, I want to judge. Please get me on as a judge. So hopefully that'll happen. We're manifesting it. Chaz yeah. on Boulet Brothers Dracula. Please and thank you. That would be yeah. so cool. Well, Chaz, thank you so much for chatting with me about Bury the Bride. You are awesome in Bury the Bride. I don't want to give away thank too much, you. but y'all, it's on Tubi. It is fun and gross and have a great time in Salem. Thank you so much. I appreciate it.